Because where is everybody? Everybody ran off to Florida? <laughs> Uh, I was never in Florida. Not complaining, just saying. <laughs> okay. Rishos Mardasra, we're continuing our share edition of Halacha. We are holding on Kuf Tzadik Tes Ahmed Bez. We're in the middle of Shin Men Vav Sif Aleph. And we are holding in the Mishnah Ice cut and vov. So to recoup what we're uh, what we're up to here, the mechaber had said that uh, the isadaraisa of hoitza is to transfer something from a rishos ayachid to a rishos arabim, or vice versa. The mechaber then said that the chachamim also asserted to transfer something from a carmelist to a rishos ayachid or to a rishos arabim, or vice versa. Then the Mechavah said that a Mokub Tur, you're allowed to move something from a Mokub Tur to a Rishos Sarabim or to a Rishos Ayachid, or from a Rishos Ayachid or a Rishos Sarabim to a Mokub Tur. But what you cannot do is somebody who's standing in a, uh, or on a, um, let's say, in a Rishos Ayachid, somebody standing in a Rishos Ayachid, he can't move something from a Rishos Ayachid to a Rishos Sarabim via a Mokum Ptur, or vice versa. And the Mishtabruah said in Ice Cut and Hay, because the bottom line is, if you're taking something from a Rishos HaYachid to a Rishos HaRabim, or from a Rishos HaRabim to a Rishos HaYachid, and it just so happens that you're going through a Mokum Ptur, the bottom line is you moved it from one Rishos to another Rishos, and it doesn't matter to us the fact that you happen to have gone through a Mokum Ptur. That would still be an Isidaraisa. Chavetz Chaim said that if you would stop in the Mokum Tur, so let's say you left the Rishos HaYachid, and then you stopped in the Mokum Tur, then you again got up from the Mokum Tur and went to Rishos HaRabim, so then it wouldn't be an Isid Daraisa, it would be an Isid Darabonon. It's not an Isid Daraisa because you went from Rishos HaYachid to a Mokum Tur, nothing wrong with that. Then you went from a Mokum Tur to Rishos HaRabim, nothing wrong with that, Midaraisa. It's an Isid Darabonon because the bottom line is, you went from Rishos HaYachid to Rishos HaRabim, or vice versa, and if we're going to allow you to do that, we're afraid that you're going to come to do this outright, and you're going to skip the Mokum Ptur. Drop it in the Mokum Ptur and then start again? It's Pater Avalasar. Pater Avalasar. Even if you put it down? Yeah, yeah, even if you put it down. If you did it with the intent that you're, I'm going from here, putting it down for a second, and now going over there, that would still be problematic. From one Mokum Tur, I can't see how that would be a problem. Because maybe you have to be afraid that you might stop. Stop what? Where are you going to stop? In the Mokum, in the Rishon Sarab? So what? You went from a Mokum Tur to Rishon Sarab. You didn't, there's, no, there's no Tzad Isser here. So now, in the bottom line, the Mechaber said, the Chain lo yamayit adam a Mokum Tur. A person is not allowed to stand on a Mokum Tur and take something from the hand of somebody who's standing in the Rishos HaRabim, and then hand that chafetz off to somebody who's standing in the Rishos HaYachid, or vice versa. So what this person is doing is, he's being the transfer agent. He's standing on a Mokab tour. We're trying to get something from a Rishos HaYachid to a Rishos HaRabim or from a Rishos HaRabim to a Rishos HaYachid. So he stands on the Mok of Torah and he says, here, give it to me. So this guy gives it to him. And now I hand it to him. He says, that you cannot do. That's going to be in a Siddur Abonon. Says the Mishnah Ruh, a nice cotton vav on the bottom of Kut Tzadik Tesam and Beis, V'chein lo yamoid. Hai v'chein lav davka. Mishnah Ruh points out that this v'chein is not really accurate. Because before the Mechaber wrote over here, V'chein, we were talking about something which was an Isidaraisa. And what we just described now is not an Isidaraisa. So, hi, V'chein, Lav Davka, this doesn't really mean V'chein. The Chiyuv because in the story that the Mechaber just said you're not allowed to do, it's only an Isidarabana, not an Isidaraisa. The Kevan Chehuba Atzmai Oymid Venayach Bemokum Tur, because since this fellow, 
who's acting as the transfer agent over here. He's standing on a Mokom tour. Miyad shehigia ha-chefetz negdoi. As soon as the chefetz comes to him, nasa kimisha niach shama'at. It's as if the chefetz has come to rest. It did come to rest. It came to rest by him in the Mokom tour. So you can't say that this is a deraisa here. What is a deraisa? It went, let's say, from Rosh Hashanah to a Mokom tour. There's no is a deraisa there. The nakat v'chein, this that the Mechaber says v'chein, mishum isura, is only because this is also forbidden. But it's only in Isid Rabban and not in Isid Daraisa. Mishum, and why is it aser? Mishum da'al kol panim, because the bottom line is, nasa al yadai haitza me rishos hayachid l'rishos harabim. Through this individual who's transferring the item, through him is coming about a transfer from rishos hayachid to rishos harabim. And by allowing this to take place, we're afraid that somebody's going to end up moving something directly from the Rosh Hashanah to the Rosh Hashanah or vice versa. Uh, also, somebody would not be allowed to stand on a Mokum tour, pick up, he's standing on a Mokum tour, and maybe on this side of him is a Rosh Yachid, and on this side of him is a Rosh Hashanah So he's standing in a Mokum Tur. He figures, I'll pick up something from here, from the Rosh Hashanah and I'll put it down over here in the Rosh Hashanah So what did I do wrong? I'm a Mokum Tur. As soon as I picked it up, it was in a Mokum Tur. says, No, you're not allowed to do that. That would also be an Isidur Abonon. Because again, through his actions, the bottom line is we're transferring from Rosh Hashanah to Rosh Hashanah, which is an Isidur Abonon. Why, why, why does the Mishnah feel the need to, to say this case? Um, I... If anything, if anything, in a way, the Mr. Brewer's case seems to be even worse. Because at least in the Mr. Brewer's case, one person is doing the whole thing. Uh, in the Mr. Brewer's case, I, the person standing on the Mokum tour, he mamish moved something from Rosh Hashanah to the Rosh Hashanah In the Mechaber's case, right, somebody gave me something from the Rosh Hashanah. Uh, Layamit Adam on Mokum tour, V'yikach, okay, he took it. You're right. You're right. V'yikach. He took it. So in the Mechaber's case, he took it from somebody's hand. That's right. And in, and in the Mishnah Brewer's case, he took it by al Akarka. So why does he feel the need to say the case? I don't know. I don't have a good answer. Okay. It says the Mechaber Vaiter on the top line. Oi ipcha, o lahachlif, derech mokoim p'tor b'rishu yistra abonon, to transfer something via a mokoim p'tor to a rishu yistra abonon, Yesh Oisrim v'yesh Matirim. That is a Machlekes Rishonim. Says the Mishnebura, Ois Kat Ches, Ula Hachlef. What's the case? Ritzay Na Loimar. Shaimein Amokim Tur. Let's say somebody was standing again on Amokim Tur. V'noytel Miyad Mi Shaimein Berushas Hayachid, and he takes something from the hand of somebody who's in a Berushas Hayachid. V'noysen Liyad Haimein Bekarmelis, and he goes ahead and he hands it off. To somebody, I'm in the middle of saying share, I'll talk to you later. And he hands it off to somebody who's standing in a. Yeah, it was somebody who's standing in a Carmelis. So he's standing on the Mokub Tor. He took it from somebody who's in a Rishos Yachid, and he's handing it off to a Carmelis. A Yibcha. This is also Osir. Oh, I'm sorry, this is a Machlaikis. For who are din, im noitel chevitz mir Rishos Yachid. Similarly, if he took the chevitz from the Rishos Yachid, and he puts it into the Makkab Tor, and now he takes it for the Makkab Tor, and he puts it in a Carmelis. So basically, the only thing we're changing over here is that now we're dealing with a Rishos Daraisa and a Rishos Darabonin instead of two Daraisas. So here it's a Machlaikis, I cut and test. Yesh Isrim, there are those Rishonim that answer this. Svir Luhu, they hold. There's no reason to make any difference over here. We're not, since you're transferring through a Mokum Tur from one type of Rishus to another type of Rishus, these Rishayim say that this is an Isidra Abanon. On the other hand, there are those that are Matir, 
Svir Luhu, these are Yishayinim hold. The Davka Berishu is Daraisa Gazrinan. We only make this Gzera when you're ending up transferring from one Rishos Daraisa to another Rishos Daraisa. Masha'en Ken Berishu is Tarabonon. But over here, in this case, where you're transferring it into a Rishos Tarabonon, to have Gzera Lgzera. This ultimately seems to be Gzera Lgzera. You're making a Gzera. I don't want you to move something from a tra transferring from a Rishos Daraisa to a Rishos Tarabonon is always Gzera. Now, you want me to stop doing it via a Mokab Tur. Why? So if I did it through a Mokab Tur, I might come to do it without the Mokab Tur. So what? Even if I do it without the Mokab Tur, it's only the Rabbanon. So it seems to be a double Xera. So these we show them hold that we don't make such a Xera. What? What? Right. No, but it just, it just seems to be a double the Rabbanon. You're protecting, you're, you're protecting a Rabbanon which we don't usually do. The Drabanan is to protect against the Daraisa. We don't usually make another Xera to protect against the Issa Drabanan. So it seems to be Xera like Xera. Okay. Yeah, that, that well, this kind of, the, the, the sugya of, right, the sugya of the Rishayim, why the Rishayim that Aser it, Aser it goes into that question. Because maybe we look at it as a different type of rishos. All right, Siv Beis. Min atayra enoi chayev el b'maver arba amos perishos harabim. What we call the iser of carrying, the the iser daraisa is to transport something for amos in the rishos harabim. Now let's go right away into the mishtabura. He's cutting your alif. B'maver arba amos. This is the iser daraisa. Hainu al yidei akira v'hanocha. The real Isid Daraisa is you're in the Rishos Arabim, you pick up something in the Rishos Arabim, so you made an Akira in Rishos Arabim, now you go for Amos, and now you put it down in Rishos Arabim, you made Hanacha in the Rishos Arabim. So that's the Isid Daraisa. The Isid Daraisa is an Akira and a Hanacha and transporting for Amos in the Rishos Arabim. Um, the Isid Rabbonanika, however, there is an Isid Rabbonan. Al yidei akira oy hanacha levad. Even if you only made an akira, or you only made a hanacha. So, for instance, let's say somebody picked up something in the. Uh, in the, let's say somebody picked up something. Yeah, it's going to be hard because you're going to start getting involved in ben hashmoshes if I use this case. I was going to say he picked it up before Shabbos started, and he started walking, and now it, it now it's Shabbos. Um, so okay, he walked for a long time. Guy picked up something before Shabbos started. And he's walking with it. And now Shabbos starts, and he walks four hours, and he puts it down. So he didn't make an Akira in the Rosh Hashanah on Shabbos. His Akira was done before Shabbos. Only his Hanukkah is on Shabbos. You could also have such a case where somebody took it away from him. Let's say somebody made an Akira in the Rosh Hashanah, and he walked four hours, and now somebody came and took it out of his hand. So he didn't make a Hanukkah. He only made an Akira. So that's not an Iser Daraisa. That is an Iser Darabonon. Where this is spoken about clearly. Uh, Machabi says, Vaiter. So this is the Yisad Daraisa. The Yisad Daraisa is four Amas and Rishos Arabim, complete with an Akir and a Hanocha. The Chachamim Asru, the Chachamim Asr, Lahavir Arba Amas Pekarmelis. They said that a Rishos, that they made a Karmelis, also you're not allowed to transport something for Amas. Now he says, uh, not a Chiddush, but. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess it is a Kiddush, maybe. The Yam Ubika, let's say the ocean and a Bika, a valley where you have the fields. Tre Gavni Karmelis Ninhu. These are two different types of Karmelis. The Yam is one Karmelis, the Bika is another Karmelis. You're allowed to go from one type of Karmelis to another type of Karmelis. As long as you don't transport more than four amas. So the point over here is, you shouldn't think that there's any iser in transferring something from one type of karmelis to another type of karmelis. Maybe you might think that the Chakamim made Xera, and they said if we're going to allow you to move something from the yam to the bika, or from the bika to the yam, you might also come to transfer something from Rishos HaYachid to Rishos HaRabim, or Rishos HaRabim to Rishos HaYachid. Because they're two different types of Rishuyas. 
Says the Merchaber, no, there's no such thing. It's a Carmelist. They're both a Carmelist. Since they're both a Carmelist, you can move from one Carmelist to another. As long as you don't go Arba Amelis, because then you're transporting four Amelis and a Carmelist. Um, Ice cut in your base. The Carmelist, the Chacham asked to carry four Amelis and a Carmelist. Why? To Hudum Yudurisho Sarabim. Because, like we've said before, a Carmelist is somewhat similar to a Risho Sarabim. It's a big area, it's not a Risho Sayochid, so it's kind of like a Risho Sarabim, the Chanal. Vayel Kabam is Simon Shin Mem Tesif, hey, over Mishnah Bru Hashem, where there's a conversation over there about Isurei Dara Bonon and a Carmelist, what is Nayag, what is not. We'll see, Bir Hashem, when we get there. Ice cut Yud Gimel. Well, You, you just hit the nail on the head of why the Mishnah Brewer says over here, I will come on with Simon Shin Mem Tesif, hey, of a Mishnah Brewer Shem. The conversation over there is exactly about carrying Pachas Pachas Merah Ba'amis to the Carmelis. <laughs> and whether we're Geyser or we're not Geyser. And the Machlok is showing him over there. We're saying Shem, we'll see it. Ice Cut and Yid Gimel. Trey Gavni, the Yam and the Bikkah are two different types of Carmelis. What the Mechaber means to say is, even though the Yam and the Bika seem to be two different types of Carmelists, still you're allowed to go from one to the other. And we don't make Xera that, and to say, we don't want you to go from one type of Carmelist to another type of Carmelist because you may end up going from one type of Rishus to another type of Rishus. We don't make such Xera. Siv Gimel. Karpef. A Karpef. What's a Karpef? Says the Ramah. Pirush. Makayim Shemukaf Mechitzais Polay Keroi. An area that is surrounded by Mechitzais, but it's not roofed over. Kamay Chatzar, like a yard. Yaiser Mi Beis Sasayim. But it's bigger than a Beis Sasayim. Beis Sasayim is 5,000 square amas, which was the size of the Chatzar of the Mishkan. So that's where we learn it out from. So if you have over here a karpef, an area this size, 5,000 square amas, shaloi hukaf ledira, and it is enclosed by mechitzas, but it was not enclosed for the purposes of dira. So for instance, let's say somebody has a pasture, and he surrounded it with fences. Now, if the fences are dalana, are uh, asar tfachim, if these mechitzas are ten tfachim high, what's the din of that enclosed area? It's Rishos Hayachid, right? It's completely Rishos Hayachid. So this area is Hukaf Mechitzas. Some of the rice says it's Rishos Hayachid. But the catch is, it's not Hukaf Ledira. It wasn't fenced in for somebody to live in. In such a case, Asru Chacham L'Mulataltal Bay El Atoich Arba Amis. The Chachamim gave it a din that you're not allowed to carry in it more than Arba Amis. So they gave it like a din of a Carmelis. However, but you're allowed to move something from this karpef into a karmelis. So for instance, the, the, in, the, in the case that he's giving, let's say you have a bika. The bika is where you have the, the fields. So maybe you have a big wheat field. That area is a karmelis. It's not a rishos sarabim, it's not a rishos yachid, it's a karmelis. Now, right off the Carmelis, you have a vegetable garden. And your vegetable garden, you fenced in to protect it from animals. And your vegetable garden is bigger than a base sasayim. It's bigger than 5,000 square amas. So now, the vegetable garden, minatera, the vegetable garden is a rishasayachim. Now, are you allowed to carry from a car- are you allowed to move something from a Carmelis into a rishasayachim? No. That's it. It's a drabonim. But over here, we have an interesting case. Over here, the Chachamim took this Rishos HaYachid, this vegetable garden, this Karpef, they took it and they made it into a Karmelis. They said, you're not allowed to carry Dalaramas inside this Karpef. So they took a Rishos HaYachid Midaraisa and they gave it a shtickle a din of a Karmelis. They said, you're not allowed to carry in it. Oh, well, wait a second. So now, are you allowed to carry from the Bika? into the Karpef? 
you shouldn't be allowed to because you're going from a Kamalist to Rishos Ayachid. However, over here the Chachamim said you are allowed to. Even though you're going from a Kamalist to Rishos Ayachid Min HaTorah, since we the Chachamim are making this Rishos Ayachid like a Kamalist, so we're going to allow you to carry from one Kamalist to the other Kamalist. And the Mishtabrura gives a very interesting reason for this. Let's see the Mishtabrura. Ice cotton Yud Dalid. Uh, says the Mishtabur, Yosem mi Beis HaSayim. How big is a Beis HaSayim? The sheer Beis HaSayim, the measurement of a Beis HaSayim. Mavur Kaman is explained further on. Besim and Shinun Ches. Shehu Shivim Amah. It's 70 Amas. Va'arba Tfachim and 4 Tfachim. Al Shivim Amah va'arba Tfachim. Biribua, which comes out to 5,000 square Amas. Shaloi Hukuf Ladira. This area was, it's Mukaf Mechitzais, but it was not fenced in for the purposes of Dira. Kigoyin, for example, in Taya, he had in mind to plant trees there. Oil is Raya, or to plant it as a garden, and therefore he fenced it off. Ukai Gavna. The Chamavur Kaman, Besim and Shin Nun Ches, Sif Aleph. I, it's, I'll read to you just because I think the Mishnah over here explains the idea of a carpet so well. Over here in Shinun Ches, Mishnah says, Even though Midaraisa, Kosha Mukaf Mechitzais Kevarais Asara, any area that's surrounded by Mechitzais more than 10 fucking tall, Afal Pisha Rechava Kamakurim, even if it's exceedingly large, who Rishos Ayakin Gomor, is a Rishos Ayakin Midaraisa. Umutal taltal bekulei, and you're allowed to carry in a rishus ayachid. Mikam makayim still chachamim asru behekef gadol yosem ibeis asayim shalehukaf ledira. The chachamim asert when you have a, a, an area that's bigger than a beis asayim that was not hukaf ledira. Why? Shehu daimek tas lerishus arabim ulekamelus because it's similar to a rishus arabim and a kamelus because it's very big and it's not uh, it's not dira. So it kind of feels more like a Rishos Arabim. Shalala Tanko Babi Yosemi Abba Arma is Kemar Rishos Arabim or Bekarmelis. So that's the din of a Karpef that's bigger than a base Sosayim. Now the Mishtabura says, in Ois Tezayim, Asru Chachavim, the Chachavim prohibited to carry inside this Karpef more than Dalad Amas. Shekevan Chu Gadol Kalkach, because it's so big, Asi Lamachlif Rishos Arabim. You'll come to confuse it with the Rishos Arabim. So the Chachamim gave it a din of a Karmelis. However, in Ois Kot Yud Zayin, the Mishnah says, the Mechaber had said that you're allowed to carry into this Karpef from a Karmelis, even though you're going from a Karmelis to Rishos Ayachit. Ois Kot Yud Zayin, the Mishnah says, you could go from this area that's really a Rishos Ayachit Daraisa, you could go to another Karmelis, after Minat Torah, who Rishon Sayachid l'chol davar came in Sheyesh l'mechitzais, even though this carpet is essentially Rishon Sayachid midaraisa, va'azoyrik mitaychel Rishon Sarabim chayiv, and if somebody would throw from the Rishon Sarabim into this carpet, it would be an isa daraisa. Omer Rishon Sayachid l'karmelis haloy aser lahaitzi v'chanal, and we just said before that you're not allowed to move something from a Rishos HaYachit to a Karmelis. However, over here the Chachamim allowed you to do so. Why? She'em, and catch this Cheshman. This is such an interesting Cheshman. She'em Nesorzeh. Because if we're going to forbid you to move something from a Karmelis into this Karpef, Yizbaru, you're going to think, Shehu Rishos HaYachit Gomor, that the Karpef is thoroughly, completely, and only a Rishos HaYachid, ve'en shem Karmelis alav klau. And you're not going to realize that it has any din of a Karmelis at all. V'yavoyu letalto bekulai kisha Rishos HaYachid. And you're going to end up carrying in this Karpef as if it was a regular Rishos HaYachid. So now let's stop here for one second. What's the Cheshman so far? The Cheshman so far is we have to let you move, carry something from the Carmelis into the Karpef. Because if not, you're going to say, oh, the Karpef is a real Rishos HaYachid, right? Because I'm not allowed to take something from the Carmelis into a Rishos HaYachid, so I'm not allowed to go here. So it's a real Rishos HaYachid. If it's a real Rishos HaYachid, then I'm allowed to carry in it. 
So you're going to come to carry in it. Now, what's the problem if you're going to come to carry in it? So you're going to carry in a Rishon Zayachim. So what? Oh, umitoych zeh yavoyu shar anoshim letal tel gamru Rishon Zayachim. Now other people are going to come to carry in the Shusarabim. So this is such a fascinating Zera. And I'm, I'm not sure you realize why I'm so fascinated by it. And I'll show you why. What is the worry here? The worry is that we have a Karpef that's bigger than a Beis Asayim that's not Mokuf Ladira. We're afraid if we allow you to carry in a Karpef, you might come to carry in a Shusarabim. Right? So because of that, we're going, to re- we're going to relax, we're going to put an instant to on the on the carpef. You're not allowed to carry in the carpef. We're going to relax a different instant to Rabbanon, and we're going to say that you're allowed to carry from a Rosh Hashanah into the carpef, so that you should realize that the carpef is a din of a Carmelis, so that you should not carry in the Carmelis, so that somebody else shouldn't carry in a Rosh Hashanah but you know what we're not afraid of? We're not afraid. That, right. We're, no, no, no. We're, we're not afraid that by, that by telling you that you're allowed to carry from the Kamalis into the Rishos HaYachid, you might say that this is not a Rishos HaYachid. And then you might end up moving something from a Rishos HaRabim into this Rishos HaYachid, which is a Daraisa. That we're not afraid of. It's so interesting. We're not afraid of that. So we're not afraid. It, it, it seems to me that the Chachamim decided we don't have to be afraid that you're going to forget that this is a Rishos HaYachid. It's a Mokum Mokuf Mechitzis that I tend to talk about. We're not afraid that you're going to forget that it's a Rishos HaYachid. You know that it's a, it's a Rishos HaYachid. What are we afraid of? We're afraid, though, that since it's so big, you're going to get used to carrying in this big open area, so you might come to forget and you might come to carry in a Rishos Arabim. That we're afraid of. But we're not afraid that you're going to forget that this is a Rishos Ayachin. So this is, I guess, where the Chachamim have to be psychologists. And they have to discern what to worry about what not to worry about. And they made the decision that this we have to worry about and this we don't. Uh, Mr. Brook continues, Kidam is Ektas or Shusarabim. This area is a little bit similar to Rishusarabim. Kevin Chu Godova Lukov Ladira. It's big and it's not Mugov Ladira. Val K Nostolov Kakamim Din Char Kamalus and Yinze. Then with the Kakam made it like a Kamalus. Now I think it's worthwhile just because this is something that we also discussed previously, to take a look at the Bir Alakha. Dibra Maskal Karpef Yoisemi Beis Osayim. The Bira Lacha says like this I and Magan Avram, the Midaraisa Rishos Ayachid Gemura. Like we said, the Karpef really, Midaraisa, is thoroughly a Rishos Ayachid because of the Muk of Bechitzis. The Chidvar of Mavur, Bishas, Erev, and Samach Zayin, and Midbei Zayin Shem. Vihine Basug Yisham, over there in the Sugya and Erev, Mavur, it is explained, Da Afilu Hurach of Kur Aykurayim. Nami ever rishos hayachid garmim and atayr lechal mili. Even if it's much bigger than a beis sasayim, a beis sasayim is five thousand uh, square amos. A kor is thirty sa. It's not two sa. It's thirty sa. Karayim is sixty sa. So kor and karayim are mu- are exponentially larger than a beis sasayim. So in the sugin erevin, it comes out very clear that there doesn't seem to be an upper measurement of a Rishos Sayachid. The Rishos Sayachid is a Rishos Sayachid if it's Mukaf Mechitzis, even if it's based Kore, based Karayim. The Da, you should know, the Da Satoisus Medavchav Beis Amid Beis Bedibra Maskel Dilma, the Lavdavka Kore Karayim. Not only if it's a Kore Karayim, El Afilu Be'elav Kurim Nami Rishos Sayachid Hu. Even if it's a thousand Kore, it's still a Rishos Sayachid, Taisus says. And this that the Gemara asks in wonderment over there in Erevin. How about Bavel? The whole Bavel is surrounded by the banks of the Euphrates. 
and the entire world, ultimately, continents, are surrounded by the oceans, right? The United States is, is surrounded by, uh, by oceans. So, there you go, you have mechitzes. So why don't we say the whole United States, the whole North America, the whole continent, is, is a Rishos HaYachid, because it's surrounded by mechitzes. The mashma mizeh, the implication of the Gemara's question is, the Gemara seems to be saying, you can't tell me that there's no upper limit to the size of a Rishos HaYachid that's Mukov Mechitzis, because if that was true, an entire continent would be a Rishos HaYachid. Tetsuba Taisis. Taisis says, no, there's an explanation. Why there's a difference between these two cases? Mishum da HaMechitzis Nasei Shaloi Bidei Adam Loi Chashiva Mechitza Kulai. Natural mechitzes, mechitzes that were not built by man, those are are not as powerful mechitzes as mechitzes that are built by man. Taisa says such mechitzes that are that are just natural mechitzes, those mechitzes are bottled by the fact that the rabim goes right through them. And, and acts as if there's no mechitza there. So mech- man-made mechitza is maybe there's no upper measurement. But God-made mechitza is, natural mechitza is, Taisis says, maybe there is an upper measurement. V'dasa ritva b'shem ramban eno kein. The ritva in the name of the ramban does not say like this. Ula didei. Hal de kamitama b'shas b'chal nami hamakif le'pras mishum desvir le'la hashas dem mechitza is rechoiko is kahani the Gemara understood that no, the Gemara's Temua on Bavel was that certainly these are not Mechitzes. The Kasa, Mishaber Ramban, and this is a Svar that we mentioned earlier. The Kol She'ena Mechitza Nireis La'im Din Be'emtza. Whenever you have Mechitzes that are not Nira Le'enayim, where they're so far apart that they're not Nira Le'enayim, and the person standing within these Mechitzes does not feel like he's isolated by mechitzais. Vein nikeres lahem loy mikri mechitza min atayra. These are not called mechitzais. Okay. Go a little bit weiter. The Ramah, the bottom line. Hago. Velochein. Motor likach mafteach bikarmelis shelifnei agino. You would be allowed to take a key that's in a carmelis, and this carmelis is outside this karpef, so you're allowed to take the key from the gina, from the Kabbalist, lift the linoil to open and to close the door to the gina, which is the karpef, love, and to bring the key back to him. Okay, so what's the case over here? The case again is you have a Kabbalist, you have, let's say, a bika, and now you fenced in an area where you're planting your vegetable garden, and the door has a lock on it. And you have your key hanging over there in the Carmelis. So you want to take the key from the Carmelis. You want to put it into the door of the Gina. And you want to swing the door inside into the Gina. So now, outside the Gina is a Carmelis. Inside the Gina is a Rishos HaYachid Midaraisa. But it's a Karpef. Since it's a Karpef, the Chacham gave it a dinner of a Carmelis. And they said, you're allowed to carry from a regular Carmelis into this kind of Carmelis, even though this kind of Carmelis is a Rishos HaYachid Daraisa. So therefore, you're allowed to take the key, put it in the door, unlock the door, swing the door in, and by virtue of doing that, you moved the key from the Carmelis into the Gina. You're allowed to do that without a problem. Ubelvad says the Ramah, Shalom Yehei Beinayim Iskufa Shehi Rishos HaYachid. As long as there is not an entrance way, like a stoop, going into this gina that is not a rishos hayachid, how would you have a stoop that's a rishos hayachid? Kigain shehi gavaya asara urechava arba. For instance, let's say the ground level of the gina of the garden is ten tefachim higher than the ground level of the kamelis, and you go up a few steps to go into the gina. And then there's a landing. So there's a platform over there. Oh, the dear shoe has a footnote, has a beautiful picture. What footnote? Oh, okay, so you see it. So there's a, there's a, there's a, a stoop 
over there, and that stoop is a Rishos Hayachid. Oh, then you would have a problem. So let's see the Mishnabura. Mishnabura is cutting your ches. Velachain mutalikach. You can allow to take this key. The Afal Pisha Gina who Rishos Hayachid bin Atayra. Because even though the Gina is Midaraisa Rishos Hayachid, and you're not allowed to move something normally from a Kabbalist to a Rishos Hayachid, and this is a Rishos Hayachid, why? Shemukefes Mechitzais, because it's surrounded with Mechitzais. Kevin de Rabbanon as a Uke Carmelis, since the Kachamim made this Gino, which is a carpe, like a Carmelis, like Asra Tiltel Mimenel a Bika Shalafanea. You're allowed to move something back and forth between the Bika and the carpe, Vatam Canal, like we just explained. So if you had the key, you could take it, Liftayach, the Mishnah Bura says, how you knew this means, Af Lahachnis Hadelis Shalagina Imam Afteach Lifnim. You could swing the door with the key into the carpet, even though you're moving it from a carmelis into a rishasayachid daraisa. Since that rishasayachid daraisa was given a din of a carmelis, you're allowed to move from a carmelis to a carmelis, as long as there's no iskufa, which is a rishasayachid, ice cut and chaf, shalayeh beinayim ritzayin elayma. What the machat, what the Ramah means to say is, as long as there is not bepesach agina at the opening and in the doorway to the gina. Loite is skufa. There should not be a stoop. Shekarin shval. Gavaya, a high, a raised stoop. Sheyeshala Hashem Rishos Hayachid, which would be a Rishos Hayachid. The Oz, because then, also lahakta samafta echalahitzi. You would not be able to bring the key in or take the key out. Tahamatatam a Kamalus, the Rishos Hayachid, um Rishos Hayachid, the Kamalus. Because then you're going, the entranceway is not a Karpef. The entranceway is separate from the Karpef. So you have a, a Carmelis, and then a Rishos HaYachid, and then a Karpef. You can't move the key from the Carmelis into the Rishos HaYachid, or vice versa. How is it a Rishos HaYachid? She Gavaya Asara, the Yilavachi, if it's not ten high, is Skufa Gufa Carmelisi. So then the stoop is also a Carmelis. Ukamai Bibika Damya. And then there's no problem moving it from the Bika to the stoop, because the Bika and the stoop are both Carmelis. Similarly, if the stoop was not four by four, makam turu, then it's a makam turu. And then you definitely would be allowed to stand on this makam turu and to use the key to open and close the door, because then you're moving from a makam turu into a shusayachid slash karmelis, or vice versa. So I think the easy answer is that we're talking about a Surah de Rabbana, we're not talking about a Surah de Raisa. But even for the Surah de Rabbana, so, so, so I don't know, I, the, I don't know if you need the Akira and the Hanacha for it to be Asa. Right, I don't know if you would need, right, right. Let's see as we go along. Let's see. We have a couple of minutes left. I don't want to go further because we... we Right. You have the key, you're taking it from, you're taking it, there's no Akira Nacha per se, but you are taking it from, from one Rishos to another, right? Right. So the question is, what kind of Rishos do you take it from one to one? Is it a Rishos to Yachid, the dimensions or not? So, so, so that's, I mean, nowadays, nowadays you're certainly going into a Rishos to Yachid when you take it into your house. Your house is certainly a Rishos to Yachid. The question is, what's the outside of the house? Generally speaking, we're usually dealing with a Carmelis. At, be, at, at worst, we're usually dealing with a Carmelis. We're usually not dealing with a real Rosh Hashanah and Daraisa. So we're usually, usually dealing with, at worst, a Carmelis. So again, see, this is Rabbanon. You're going from a Carmelis to a Rosh Hashanah Yachid, which you're not allowed to do. We, most, of, most of our streets probably don't qualify as a, as a real Rosh Hashanah They have to be, uh, I mean, some, uh, some I guess, can. One definition I mean, the first thing you have to have the size. You have to have 16 amas. You have to have 16 amas. And, and how to measure the 16 amas is also tricky because do you count, let's say, the area where cars park on the side of the streets? Do those count as a Mokim Hila Harabim or not? So, you know, and then you have the whole shile of the 600,000. So, you know. <laughs> well, now in Willowbrook they do too. <laughs> you know, what do you call it? Yeah. 
I'll just, uh, we have a couple of minutes left, I'll just say a quick vart on the parsha. It's, it's, it's uh, Tom Terry, the rabbi, I don't want to lose out. Um, we have Kriyas Yamsuf in this week's parsha. So the, the, uh, the famous question that's always asked is, how is it possible that Klal Yisrael went from Kriyas Yamsuf, from the Makas, and from Yusias Mitzrayim and Kriyas Yamsuf, to building an eagle so, so, so quickly? And um, one famous vart that they say for Rechaim Shmulevitz, Rechaim Shmulevitz said, he says, what, is the, what do Chazal say by Kriyas Yamsuf? They say, Ra Shifcha al Hayam, right? A Shifcha, a maidservant, saw during Kriyas Yamsuf, Mashallah, Ra Yecheskel ben Buzi, Mamaisar Markava. She saw more Hiskalus, more revelation of the Shechina by Kriyas Yamsuf than Yecheskel ben Buzi saw when he saw the Maisar Markava in Shemayim. Right. So Rechaim Shulevit said, So what do you mean, Ra Shifcha al Hayam? Ra Bas Yisrael al Hayam. <laughs> Ra Malka Aliyam, Ra Shivka Aliyam. So he would say, yeah, she saw everything she saw, Amunach Al Skivar Na Shivcha. She still somehow remained a Shivcha. It didn't raise her up. Now the question is, why is that? So in Tilim, Davan Amel says, um, uh, uh, I forgot if the first word is Ra. I hate quoting Pesukim wrong, so I'll just look it up. It's Kapitel. It's Kapitel Ches and Tilim. David Amelach says, "Ki eres shamecha, my say etzpa isecha." When I see your heavens and I see the work of your fingers, Yarech um, v'chayichavim, the moon and the stars, Asher kainanta, that you established. Then I ask, "Ma enoish kisis kerenu uven adam kisif kedenu." So David Amel said, when I look up at the Shemayim and I see the wonders of Shemayim, I see the moon and the stars, uh, it, it causes me to ask, who is man? The, the Mepharshim ask, why does it say Yerech V'chayichavim? Why doesn't it say Shemesh? What happened to the Shemesh? And one of the answers that they give is, because when the sun is out during the day, you can't see the majesty of the heavens. At night, when you go outside, go up to the Catskills late at night, where you don't have all the light pollution that we have here, and you look up in the Shemayim, it's astounding. The thousands of stars. During the day, you look up, you can't see any of that. Why? Because you're blinded by the sun. Same thing happens when it comes to, to Ruchnius, in a sense. What happens sometimes by a Nes Nigla is a Nes Nigla is like the Shemesh. It blinds you. How does it blind you? When you see the Hisgalus so clearly, you don't have to think about it. And when you don't have to think about it, you don't internalize it. When you see the Hisgalus Hashkina without any challenge, without ever having to think and having to struggle and having to ponder, you don't really truly internalize it. So you see a Kriyas Yamsuf, and then a little bit later, Vahiki Boshish Moshe, oh, what happened? What happened? But when you have to find the Rabbeinu Shalalim in the Nistar, when you have to find him in where it's not easy, when you have to struggle, and you have to sit down and learn, when you have to sit down and you have to learn the Megillah, right? The Megillah was heft upon him. By, by the Nase of Purim was not a Nase Nigla, it was a Nase Nistar. And we have to sit, and we darshan, and we say, look at the Yad Hashem, how this happened, and that happened, and that happened. So you have to look and you have to find the Yad Hashem. That teaches you to find the Yad Hashem even when it's not apparent. That sticks. When you, when you go through that, when you struggle through that, it's like I always say, it, it, it's hard even to say it, and I'm a son of a, of a, of a Holocaust survivor, but, but the Klosenberger Rebbe, Friedrich Klosenberger Rebbe, who said, who, and I, I, my uncle told me he, he was there, that when the train was coming to Auschwitz, the Klosenberger Rebbe said, Yidin, stay off! Stand up! The Rabbanin Shalom Vart Faruns. The Rabbanin Shalom was waiting for us. And, and, and they asked him, in, in the Gehenna that was at they said, here too? And he said, everywhere. If you could find it there, 
<laughs> you never have a challenge. You never, you know. But when you only see it when it's blinding, when you only see it when it's a Kriyas Yamsuf, then when a challenge comes along, you don't see it. So that's why Klausenberger Rebbe himself used to say all the time, he used to yell all the time by his Chumash Rashi Shirub, don't say if we would have Nisim Niglim like they had by Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, then we would be, you know, running. No, 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 no. Not true. He said, Nisim Niglim, don't do that. So you have to find the Rabbi Shalom in the Nister. That's when it makes you really, really from. That's, that's the... Uh, Everyone have a wonderful Shabbos. See you in show next week. Yeah. Right, in the day-to-day. Klausenberger Rebbe used to say...